First, uh, we try to improve the uh, acoustic noise by using a bigger diameter of the motor and then spin slower to generate the same amount or even higher airflow, but reduce the acoustic level very much. And then secondly, we also have uh, uh, improved the sealing of the entire product. So that makes make sure that all the pollutants comes into the product will stay in the product. Nothing comes out. Okay, so give it a, about three seconds. Mm. Uh, you should feel the airflow. Yes. I can't hear you. I can only see your mouth moving at this point. The Dyson Zone is the first uh, wearable audio product, so the electronics inside is quite different from the uh, traditional uh, product we have. So we have a very highly capable uh, um, system on the chip for the Bluetooth audio processing and communication. The scale of the design is quite small because the space is very limited. So that's a new challenge and that will be the new trend. Once I joined the team, I've been issued a machine to bring home to trial with. So as a product owner, it's really important for me to understand how the product works. When I first took home the robot, actually I was very pleasantly surprised by how easy to use it. Uh, there were some un maybe undesirable experiences, like maybe it gets stuck more often in certain areas. But even if it's not part of what my teams are working on, we'll be able to bring it back to the product team, look through the issues and see how we can improve this user experience.